Hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today we're going to show a little more of the uh, pump rebuild. And a question was raised about the uh, mineral oil in it. And Everybody keeps telling me that it has to be dielectrical. Uh, seems to me like that ain't what they use in computer builds when they build computers. They just use mineral spirit or mineral oil, as far as I know. Uh, I don't. I don't know what to believe because everybody I've asked would benefit more by telling me a lie than to tell me the truth. So, uh, I think they just want me to buy that dielectrical uh, oil. And that, that stuff ain't cheap. So, you know, I'm gonna try to put this together and I'll save some of the oil it, it just, it is pretty uh, thin oil, and I filtered it really good, and I've got probably one and a half cups here. Uh, it seems to me like it's supposed to be 30, 30.5 ounces or 30 ounces. I'm going to use what's there and and we're going to use mineral oil too. Uh, so I'm just going to mix the two. So I believe it'll work just fine. Uh, Mineral oil is not a conductor of electricity, but we'll test it to make sure. So, let me show you what all I've got so far. I haven't really done a whole lot. So what we have here is the base. And... I painted it with a bright green and decided I didn't like that. So I painted the inside and the out and then the outside edge. You see where the paint is coming off of it from where I set it on here? That's all going to be machined with a sanding file. Same thing with right here. It's going to be machined. I'm going to machine that and make it look a little better. There ain't a whole lot I can do about the threads. But the threads are in good enough shape that I can take a plastic one, male, and put RTV gasket maker around it. Squeeze, or, uh, screw it down on here and it will be a nice replaceable threads from then on. So... I like this color better. See, I started out with this one here. It says fast dry, indoor, outdoor, and it's gloss. Meadow green. Anyway, then I found, as you can see the color right there, that's awful. It was just too bright. Matter of fact, right there's the lid. Can you imagine that on that? That would just be too out there. <laughs> so we thought we would dull it down a little bit with hunter green satin 
hope I got enough because I don't even remember where I got it from. Walmart, okay. Hopefully I can get that again. I've had that for a while. So that piece there is going to be unmasked and probably just left the way it is. And I got a damn stink bug rolling around here thinking he's the king of the world. He's going to find out he's not nothing but a pawn. Teach that bastard. <laughs> we won't mess around with him. Anyway, I wanted to also mention about some batteries that I just got. Right here are the original batteries. This one and this one. These are the original batteries. Well, they don't hold charge very long anymore. So I went and got this one. And it's a little bit thicker. Because I was wanting to take the batteries out of these and put them in these cases. Since these fit really well. And they're, they're basically machined to perfection. Because you don't have to fight to get them out and in. You know. Uh, so... That one there seems to be working okay. That's the latest one. But I got this 18 volt, 200 milliamp battery. And you can see what it is. Just pause the screen in any location. All right. The problem I have with this one, it snaps in okay, but it is the devil sometimes to get off. That one actually worked well. But it seems that you have to put too much squeeze and effort on it in order to get it to come off. I don't like them to be that tight. You know, that one seemed to work okay. I guess I'm learning while I'm doing this. Anyway, then I went and got this one. expecting a job to come up and never did come up and that one seems to work just fine oh see there see it got me damn bastard he got me I was bragging on him but anyway now we've got the DeWalt drill all back to snuff and I don't know what I'm going to do with these I'd actually like to keep these in case one day I find good batteries that may, maybe had some broken cases I have cases for them and they're the original alright enough of that I guess now we need to work on, I'm not ready to work on that one yet. <laughs> I'm doing the small stuff first. I think my pile here is getting a little bit too big. I guess they're both evil. <laughs> Alright, so I guess the next thing I need to do is go ahead and start taking this thing apart. And I already can see that we're going to have a problem with this. I'm hoping I luck out. I'm going to put this in the vise and start wire brushing around that. See what we got to work with. It don't look like there's much on this side. It looks pretty, pretty rusted. It's probably only a third of this metal that's actually holding the same amount out here so it has a tendency to want to break right there is what's going to happen and I think this one here is fooling me to think that it's bigger than it really is so I think both sides are in pretty bad shape
it looks pretty bleak uh, it don't look like this is going to go easy so I'm going to take it to the wire wheel and wire wheel this and at the same time I don't want to destroy this plate right here I want that plate to look as new as I can get it Alright, so we have continuity from here to here and here to here. Kind of hard to do it without a pair of alligator clips. <laughs> Alright, so first thing we'll do and we'll just go ahead and see if we can't clean that up a little bit. And there you go. Looks like a brand new switch. Works just fine. Contacts are clean. And look copper again. And you can read everything that's there. And there it is, made in Mexico. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to persuade this to work for us rather than making us work too hard for it. <laughs> I think what I want to try to do here is we don't want to damage this. So we want to make sure that it goes in there in a way where it has the most stability. Right there be it. Alright, so now we're going to try We're going to try to see if we're just overestimating the, the hold. I don't believe I am. <laughs> Alright, so it's not going to come by itself. It wants a persuasion. It wants persuaded. Problem is, I can't really do that. Yeah, I better not do that. Uh, being that I can't get this out, I have to do this very carefully. Uh, let me try this side.
Well, let's try a little vibration. Yeah, that thing's on there, man. <laughs> oh, it would have to be on there. So, it looks like what I'm going to have to do is either be smart about it and say the hell with it. <laughs> We're trying to get that to break loose. without damaging anything else. I guess I'm out of that too. Alright, I'm going to try one other approach. Let's see what we can get this way. Success on that end. And success on this end. So now all we gotta do and we had to do it without any heat. You can see just how much metal was left. The holes are original. That's how much meat has rusted off of that thing. That's why I was being real careful. Because all it took was the wrong move and the wrong action to break that off and then you would have to drill that out. So this here is all it is is a pattern now. So now God, I sure wish this thing would come out easy. Yeah, I don't know how it comes out. <laughs> and with the risk of tearing up one of those boost or boots, I'm not willing to find out. So I'm going to go ahead and take this plastic piece out and then we're going to try to make us a way so that we ain't got to worry about this getting hit. So we might put a piece of pipe on it or a piece of rubber hose over top of it to go over top of this part that fits tight. That way you just got something there to protect this. And then once we've got this all cleaned up, then we can concentrate on in here. Actually, we might just concentrate on that first. So let's try that out first. I had to break out the uh, new ones that I know are going to be destroyed in no time. Now I'll show you what I mean. I bought these and you see what happens to them? They get bent over and I haven't really figured out a, a good way of getting them straightened back out. So I've got these backups and we're going to try the brass one first. Well, not the brass one. The polyester, I guess that's what it is. We're going to investigate just how much dirt is actually a problem. <laughs> Thank you. 
So now we've got the plug out. We've got this off. I don't want to risk taking this out and damaging it. So we're going to have to work with it right where it's at. So we've cleaned it up. I'm, I'm pretty decent on my wire wheel. I'm, I'm a pretty pretty good judge of what I can do and what I can't do. Now this time it'll probably prove me wrong, but we'll see. So we're going to go ahead and start working on this thing with the wire wheel on the grinder. And we'll meet you at the bench. After. Alright, so now we've got little pieces of stuff we couldn't get with the wire wheel. So we're going to have to get them little pieces manually. I'll show you a trick about that. Grab the old Gremmel. And what I've got on that is an old wore out wire brush that ain't hardly anything left of it. And they don't get last long. So we're going to slow that speed down and we're going to get down in there. Alright. So now all I'm going to do is to get this thing ready for paint. Take his poker, poke that rust out of there in that corner. Then you take your brush and brush it again. Brass brush will work just fine. Alright, so now I'm going to figure out what to do about this. Uh, before we do that, I think we need to use this as a template to go ahead and make our handle. Because we don't want to be messing with this while it's painted. So we're going to go ahead and do that next. But for now, that will end. this part of the head <laughs> or, or switch box there we go switch box and man that's a heavy switch box I like it when things are made like that uh, that's actually a pleasure to work with so you know I'm just gonna have to take in a drill bit and just go in there find one that size and just ream it out And keep going up in size until you're you can't do it no more. So that other one was the perfect size. And I picked that out by without looking. So we want to make sure that that's going to fit, and it does, like a glove. So we'll make that the next time we come back. And then we'll get to painting that and maybe starting on something else. So I hope this was enjoyable and entertaining. And uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Later.